Romolo and Silvana are two cousins who inherited from their Italian mothers, Alda and Flora, the passion for cooking and good food. They cooked together for the family in the past and always enjoy being in the kitchen together. Paolo was born in Messina, Sicily, and now lives in Los Angeles. He sure brings his savoir-faire as a chef. Silvana lives in Montreal. She's a retired French teacher who loves to cook, just like her mom, Alda. Join Paolo and Silvana in the kitchen, and buon appetito! Ciao, Silvana! Ciao, Paolo! How are you? I'm fine. Come stai? How are you doing? Oh, very well. Thank you. Right. How is it in, in Los Angeles? Actually, today it's raining, which is very unusual for uh, uh, mid-May, but uh, it's going to be warm. In fact, we have the air on anyway. How about Montreal? How uh, bad is it? Which yeah. is weird. We've got a sunny day. <laughs> it's beautiful. Lovely. When you say it, say it. What are we cooking okay. today? Okay, we are cooking pasta carbonara. You said it so beautifully. Um, I was uh, I was not expecting carbonara <laughs> from you or carbonara either. Pasta carbonara, spaghetti alla carbonara, very traditional recipe from uh, Italy, and this is the r recipe from Roma, actually. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. The real uh, one. Talk, the real one. Let's talk about uh, the ingredients for this recipe. Okay. And um, we're talking about our mise en place, which is something that we need to do at the beginning of every recipe. So we have a half a pound of spaghetti ready to go. The, uh, then we have pancetta, which yeah. is, in our case, in my case, it's already diced. And I think, Silvana, you have a different type, don't you? Yes, it's this is sliced pancetta. So I will just okay. have to chop it, right? Absolutely, and there's absolutely no issue with that. Bacon okay. is has a different flavor, so I do recommend pancetta. Okay, um, okay so pancetta is the uh, um, soft part of the pork belly, and um, pancha means um, stomach, the stomach part. Oh, that's what so it that's means. where pancetta. pancetta. Yeah, that's where pancetta ah. comes from. So, for example, I remember mother saying uh, to me after I ate a gigantic plate of pasta, she would say, Paolo, Paolo, I can see a little pancetta. And she wasn't talking about the, 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 this, the pork. She was, she was talking, talking about, about this. <laughs> she was talking about the, the yes, the rolls the around my stomach, here. which was <laughs> not a good. And that was my lovely mother. Yes, that's oh, how we, we did. That. Yeah, la All pancetta. Right. Nice. But anyway, this is pancetta. Okay. Then um, we have uh, four egg yolks. Yes. So basically the egg yolks, which are whole right now, then we'll whisk them, and uh, no egg white. And um, uh, the measure would be one per person. So if you want to increase this recipe or double it, just one egg per person to make the sauce. So then we have um, four tablespoons of Parmigiano, four tablespoons of Romano cheese, and um, that's pretty much it. Salt and pepper to, uh, to taste. The pancetta is a little salty already. And so you don't need to uh, add any salt to the actual sauce. Uh, the, the salt is for the pasta water. So really good. Um, shall we get started? Yes, let's go. So, uh, um, Silvana, you chopped the pancetta already, correct? Yes. Perfect. And um, the, uh, my pancetta, which was already chopped, it's, going in, it's in the frying pan, very low heat because oh, okay. it's a very soft, um, type of um, meat, so you don't want to burn it. Well, as soon as the pancetta is done, we'll be back. Okay, we can All start right. now. The, um, my pancetta is cooking beautifully, Silvana. How about yours? It is cooking nicely. You said okay. slowly, so I'm, uh, I'm not putting it at maximum. So it takes a yeah. little bit of time, but it's coming along. I don't want yes. to burn it, right? I agree. I agree with you. No, no. Just let it let it melt. The the fat has to render, and that's going to be delicious in the sauce. Oh, so yeah. that's that. Um, also, the pasta water is ready to boil. So yeah. this is one of the fastest, easiest recipes that we can make, actually, because uh, yeah, the the time for the recipe is really just the time to cook the uh, pancetta 
and the pasta water to boil and cook the pasta. That is and just as easy. Here, Paolo? Just right here. Enough. Oh yeah, like nice, nice. Yeah, oh, I so think mine is uh, is done. It is done. Perfect. So oh really? Done. Okay. I think it was thinner, wasn't it? Yes, it was very thin actually. You're yeah. right. Now the eggs. Remember, um, we're gonna oh, put yeah. the pasta in as soon as that boils. Uh, the okay. eggs we need to whisk oh. very lightly, and that's all that goes in there. Okay. It's done. Okay. okay, we don't need to whip them, we just whisk them. We're waiting for the pancetta to finish cooking and then we're done. We're done, okay. Yes. My pancetta is ready. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Mine is getting there and actually um, at this point, I would say we can put the pasta in. How's oh, that? Is your pasta boy? Yeah. We're ready? Yeah. Put the salt in the water. We had the uh, when we cooked together this recipe the last time, you and I had a discussion. Why do you put the salt now and not later? Um, not earlier, rather. Well, I find, but that's me, that uh, if you put the pasta in and then you add the salt, the chemical thing that happens there allows the uh, uh, pasta to go back to a boil very, very quickly. So I'm putting the salt. I didn't know. I used to put the salt before putting my pasta. So now yeah. I'm going to think of you every time. I put the pasta <laughs> first and then the salt, and I'm going to think of you. I like that. I like that you're thinking of me. I think my pancetta is splattering, so I think it's ready. Good. That's done. So the pasta um, has to be cooked. You see what I'm doing, Silvana? I am kind of um, moving the pasta around with my wooden fork. Uh, at the very beginning, for any kind of pasta, it's necessary to do that so that uh, the pasta strands don't stick together. And then uh, I think this is perfect, and so we'll just wait for it to cook. Pasta yeah. carbonara, yeah, it's one of the oldest recipes ever. Um, recorded uh, back in 1837, believe it or not. Um, and it's, it's kind of dear to my heart, and I know it's dear to your heart as well for a different reason. For us, growing up in Italy, it was the go-to food for students. And ah. for you and I together as yes. a memory, how many times have we cooked this ah. together? At, le at least twice. Every time you came to Montreal to visit, yes. we were begging, yes. oh, no, please, please, we'd like you to, to cook. And you cook at my house, <laughs> and I make you Always. Work. I love your kitchen. And ah. um, it, so it has a lot of meanings to me, and especially ah. it reminds me of you. is always talking about Paolo's Carbonara. So you're oh, a legend funny. in Montreal. Oh, that's funny, really. <laughs> <laughs> we like to eat. So uh, the pasta is about six minutes to go. So should we uh, reconvene in a few minutes? Yes, let's reconvene while, we're waiting. while the pasta is cooked. See you. Sounds good. Um, See you in a sec. What I, I, we're laughing because uh, what I, I just told you that uh, I tried the pasta. It was still too hard and I broke two teeth, but not oh, really. Oh. But anyway, the pasta is because the pasta is supposed to be al dente. Well, that was way... I think mine looks good, Paolo. I think, you know, I'm going to taste it just to make sure. Okay, I don't want let's it taste this pasta. I don't want it to be overcooked. Oh, oh. Mine is just perfect. I didn't break a tooth. You need to save a mestolo d'acqua, a ladle full of pasta water. Okay. So, a ladle. Yes, a ladle, which for people that are not Italian, means half a cup. Half a cup. I took just a yeah. little bit more, just in case, okay. you know, in case of emergency. Okay, okay. What emergency? So, what but, you I know, you never know. You know. I like that. In case of emergency, I uh, agree. You never know. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Yeah, okay. That was quick. Yep. I always put a lot of water when I cook my pasta, Me especially too. spaghetti. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we let the we let the 
pass uh, the spaghetti drain for a second. Yes. And okay. what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on the fire on the lowest setting. Okay. Under the pancetta. Very and good. We add the pasta water. Yeah. Almost all of it. If I need to add more, I'll add more. Okay, so that's that's going very nicely. And um, so, Silvana, we're gonna add the pasta. To okay. The pan. Your egg is gonna keep it moist, right? Yeah, you're gonna keep it pretty wet. Right. Uh, then, right away, right away. We mix, we, we mix it very okay. nicely. I'm there you following go. you. I'm following yes. the step. All right. We mix very nicely. Very nicely. Then we add the eggs. And now we got to work very quickly because we do not want scrambled eggs, okay? So, okay, I'm going to watch you first. So I'm going to pour, I'm pouring the eggs. All at once. All at okay. once. Okay. And then and you... As soon as soon as the eggs are in, I'm gonna mix real quick. Okay. I don't want to the leg. So there we go. Yep, yep, yep. This is a quick, uh, a quick thing that you need to do. Um, so you're oh, mixing the eggs, and we add the cheeses. Right well, now, okay. Right but now. Beautiful. You know, Paolo, it's very creamy. It's gorgeous. Yes. And the, yes. the water helps it to become like a little cream. It's so nice. Like a little cream, but there's no cream. This is there's what. No cream. Uh, no, the purest uh, of pasta carbonara. Um, but, you know, we always, to make it creamy, they add cream. And then the purists will say, uh, you're not going to do that. That is not true carbonara. So yeah. today we're making it the right way. <laughs> the, the true carbonara. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. If I find it a bit too creamy, can we put a little bit of water if we want? If it's too dry? Yeah. Mine is sure. A bit dry. Okay. I'm gonna, Interesting. You know, I did a good thing to keep a little bit of water just in case. Let's turn off the heat now. That might be the trick. Turn off the heat. Oh. Turn up. Yeah. Oh. Turn okay. off. Turn oh. off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you going to fry the carbonara now? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> so I think this is absolutely gorgeous, actually. But see, that's good that we're doing this together because many times if your um, the frying pan is bigger or smaller or um, the, the pasta, a uh, different type of pasta absorbs the yeah. sauce a little faster. So there are different ways of a recipe to turn out. So as long as you know what you're looking for, and what I'm doing, actually, I'm adding a lot of black pepper now. Ah. I just want to make sure you use fresh ground because there's so much more flavor than the one you buy in the box. I love, I love pepper on my pasta. I just love it. Absolutely. And so Ooh. we keep on tossing. This is absolutely tossing. beautiful. It's the perfect carbonara yep. right here. Mm. And you know, uh, Paolo, the little uh, yeah. the little extra water helped me a little. So it was a good thing to take a little bit more. Beautiful. You want to make sure. So good. Yeah, you don't. Does this uh, mean that we would be ready to eat, Paolo? Yes, we are. Oh, this brings back so many ma good oh, memories. Paolo, this <laughs> is wonderful. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. So, Look so at that. We're gonna it's take a little it's beautiful. Pasta. Yeah. Oh my god. But I want the pancetta in there I too. Better, I better keep some for my husband after. I, I shouldn't be. I don't know. Okay, and are you fine. adding a bit of parmigiano too? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> 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 she knows me very well. She knows oh, me yeah. perfectly. So, um, are you ready? I am Let's ready try this. to taste. Let's oh, try this, huh? I can't wait. <gasps> How I'm eating. Taste? You're talking. I'm eating. Oh, I don't know. God. Oh, my God. What do you think? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. I'm going to have a huge. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. Mm. Delicious. You mm. know what's missing? 
nothing. Mm. Oh, one thing it's is perfect. missing. Mm. No, no. Mm -mm. What? I know you well enough. I know one thing is missing. The oh, no. Oh, no. 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 You have to. Yeah. I, here you Why go. Not? I was ready for you. <laughs> Paolo, thank you for this beautiful recipe. I know that there are many, many more to come. It's always a pleasure, a real Same pleasure here. to be in the kitchen with you. Thank you, my dear. Chin chin, Silvana. Bon See you next time. Chin chin, chin chin. Bon appetito. Ciao, bon Paolo. Bon appetito. Ciao, Bella. Bye. Ciao. You're gonna have a hell of a time editing this thing. Oh, jeez. We're crazy people. Okay, let's talk about pasta al dente. Let's talk about pasta al dente. <laughs> can we? Can... The what? Did I say it correctly? I. I, I... Should we? Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> say, 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 say. It's good. What? No. And yours? Not I just yet? broke two teeth. <laughs> <laughs>